first of all, it's always good to see you. I, I, no matter how many times I see this man, I always get starstruck being in front. Being in front. Of him. Uh, I really do. I really do. He, come on. He's always been my favorite for years. So you're, you're star striking me, man. No, never, never, <laughs> never. But it's always an honor to see you, and it's nice to officially meet you. It's so nice to officially meet you too. <laughs> and for you, for this experience, for being here, at the Day of Days event, like it was, like the crowd itself is amazing. Just. The fact that we have so many fans supporting the show, coming out here, being a part of this, just what what, what is that like for you? Just for your experience. It, 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 it's so it's so special. It's so surreal that people are spending their time and their money to come here and hang out with us. And it's um it's it's really neat to be able to be on a show where you know people are watching, but you don't necessarily get a feel yeah. that they are until you're in an event like this when there are so many people. Who are who are here and they're talking about your character and they're at, you know it's just um, it's surreal it's really fun. That's great. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. And one of the things I, I thought about when it comes to Stephanie is like do do we call her unlucky in love because I feel like she is <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. She needs a lucky penny or two. Um, she yes I would say, but but hey I I do like that she is still so true to herself and what she wants and she wants what her parents have she wants love she wants family she wants um she wants that person and so i i, I do commend her for try try again you know um and so i think she, i think it's fun to watch uh her kind of taking a couple steps forward and, and learning more about herself and learning about you know what she needs out of a relationship but then it's interesting to watch her take a couple steps back too yeah. at the same time but i think that's real life i think that's dating um and so hey i'm 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 all about it i'm all about her trying to to find her love yeah yeah now i had a i had a few twitter questions that came for you i picked one and Tell me what you think of this. The question was from Pat, the, the screen name on X is Patch and Kayla. They asked, what would you think if they ever did a storyline to where Trip turned out to be Kayla's child instead of Ava's? That would be a, quite a twist, man. <laughs> I mean, wait a minute now. I'm thinking about it. How could that have happened? I mean, it is uh, Sam. Lordy, lordy, yeah, lordy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I, you know, look, recently Tripp decided that he wanted to be a Johnson. Yeah. He changed his name. Changed his he name. he yeah. legally changed his name. He wanted to be our, you know, a Johnson. So um, that was cool. Yeah. He is a Johnson. I mean, I'm his daddy. His daddy? Yeah. Um, and, and Kayla has taken him under her wing she she is you know especially after they had a very tumultuous relationship in the beginning yes very tumultuous and she treats him like a like a son now and she loves him as much as her, her other children never yeah we could never say ne never in salem anymore never say wild wild question and it's something that would need to be worked out i i don't know how because i'm not i'm not a daytime writer <laughs> I, I, I'm not that kind of writer. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to come out, come up with those outlandish uh, yeah. scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> but it would fit for this town. That's yeah. the bad part it of it. Definitely fit. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Last question for you guys. What, what can we see coming up for both of your characters on the show? What can you tease for us? Uh, well, you you always tease the one about uh, well me interrupt. What, what is the thing with Chad? Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, you're getting a taste of it already a little bit, but um, just speaking of Stephanie's unlucky in love, um, they're, they're, one of the best one of the best scenes is, is Stephen coming in um, when you know Chad and uh, Stephanie and Kayla are all having dinner and we're waiting for Steve and he comes in and he says, "So, when are you two kids getting married?" <laughs> and it really puts her on the spot, and so um, I think I think you'll see how that sort of how that sort of plays plays it plays out really yeah. yeah 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 without without saying too much but but how does that pressure cooker sort of <laughs> yeah. combust yeah um, yeah because yeah. because since uh, Stephanie is sensitive to Chad 
you know, his kids, his grief, um, and so, but she also has needs herself, so, you know, where does that leave them? Yeah, where is that going to take them? So that's going to be interesting. Yeah. 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 But that was, that was the best day. That was, we were all <laughs> cracking up during rehearsal because just Steven is just, when he delivers these lines, it's so hard not to. If you to don't watch any of his Instagram videos, you can see how comical he can be behind the scenes. So I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, Papa can't help himself. Yeah. He's, he's got to yeah. find out how, how his babies are doing. Oh. You're still a dad by trade. Yeah, and, and yeah. he knows she's a grown woman and he shouldn't be interfering in her own personal life but he can't help himself, can't help himself. Yeah. Yeah. looking forward to it but thank you so much you guys for stopping over thank you, thank you.